What's up guys, this is Scooter here, Macintosh Tips, and I've done this video about 25 billion times, and uh, I hope I don't sound repetitive, uh, because it sounds repetitive to me, but I'm going to try to make this as new and fresh sounding as possible, so bear with me. Alright guys, now today I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts. Now keyboard shortcuts are basically uh, some helpful tools to get, help you get around your Mac. Now they come unique on every application and you can add your own. Let me go ahead and show you some general ones and some stuff about iMovie that's uh, some shortcuts there and then I'll show you how to create your own. So basically, uh, I'm going to go to Safari and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you how to work commands if you didn't know it. If you're a new Mac user, this is how you do it. Now you, you can do commands by going to the top menu bar and they're always here. So new window is command N. But I can go here and click new window and a new window is going to appear. But to minus all the clicking and stuff, I just hit Command N and it'll work. Now, how do you do this? All right, basically, you want to, sorry about that, you want to hit the, there are two symbols there, Command and N. I want to hold down the first symbol and then tap the last one. All right, but if I go down here, there are three of them. Command, shift, Command L. I'm going to hold down Shift, hold down Command, and then tap the last one. So make sure you tap the last one and then hold down the rest of them. All right, and this should work. Should work just fine. So let me go ahead and get started here. So Command N, as I said, new window. All right, Command T. I want to hold down Command and tap T. That's going to be a new tab. Command, hold down Command, tap W. That's going to be close the tab and Command W is going to be close the window. Now all these will be in the description box on the right hand side, so you don't have to write down these at commands or try to practice them as you're watching the video. So keep your eyes on the video in case you miss something. Now. You're going to be sure to uh, quit the application, hit Command and Q, because if you close a window, as you notice, the application is still running in the top corner. But to fully quit the application, any application on Mac, it should work like this. Command and Q should be the, um, should be the uh, command. So Command, Q, quit the application. Let's have a bunch of applications open. iCal, System Preferences, Safari, Mail, and I'll open Stickies. So I've got a bunch of applications open here. I'm going to hit Command and tap Tab. <laughs> tap Tab. Now, I'll come to this little nice menu here. Some good graphical uh, graphical pictures. Messing up my words today, guys. Graphical pictures. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep tapping Tab to browse through the applications. So I'm on Stickies right now, right? But I'm going to tap Tab and I'll move to Mail. I let go of all the keys on my keyboard and now I'm on the Mail application. Hold down Command, tap Tab. Brought up to this again, hit tab again, it'll go back over, and now I'm on Safari. And I can go all the way down to Tweety, and now I'm on Tweety. So as you see, guys, I'm just browsing through all the applications I want. Stop here on iCal, boom, I'm on iCal. I can also hit Command Tab and hit Q, and I'll quit all of these applications. Alright, so quit that one as well. Pretty cool there, huh? Now, let's talk about copy and pasting. This one's pretty simple. I'm going to open up Stickies, just go ahead and type some random letters. Alright, so I'm here, copy and pasting, right? So I got these random letters here, some nice sentences, pretty old, put together. Oh, I actually spelled dead in there, nice. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit Command and A. And when I hit Command and A, I'm going to select every text I have right here. So Command A, hold down Command, tap A, boom, everything's highlighted. Now I can copy and paste this, so let me go ahead and copy and paste it here. Hit Command and C, come down here, boom, it's pasted. All right, by hitting Command and V. Command C, copy, Command V, paste. To undo a command, I'm going to hit Command and Z. That takes it back. If I want to redo that, so let's say I undo a command, but then I want, to, I want it to come back up. I'm going to hit Shift, Command, Z, Shift, Command, Z, and now it's back up. Command Z, it's gone. Shift, Command, I'm going to hold those down. Tap Z because it's the last one, and now they're coming back up. Pretty cool there, huh? Now let's talk about, uh, let's go back here over here to Safari, let's go to Google here. Alright, so now that I'm at Google here on Safari, I'm going to talk about backspacing. Now you might think backspace, pretty simple, just hit delete. But you can also backspace forward, so let me go ahead and type in some random stuff here. Memphis, YouTube, movie, Windows, uh, Chris Rock. Alright, just type in some random stuff here, right? Now, as you see, behind the cursor, right, is what the text is and that's what whoa let's go back alright now behind the cursor is what backspace is right so if I hit backspace it'll delete the K and the C and the O and the R 
But let's say I want to delete in front. All right. So let's say I want to go forward with the backspacing. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to delete everything after Memphis. Here's how I do it. I hold the function key. It's located in the bottom left of your keyboard and it has FN on it. It's called function key. You don't really use this key much. But you're going to hit function and as you hold down function, you're going to tap the delete key. All right, and it'll backspace forward. So tap, 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 tap. Or I can hold it down to delete forward faster. All right, so as you see, it's deleting forward and not backward. So now Memphis is left. Hit enter. Boom, here's Memphis, the city of Memphis. Great city. Corrupt politicians, but great city. So boom, there it is, right? Now, so that was backspacing forward and backspacing backwards. Now let's say I want to uh, go ahead and take um, a picture of my screen. I'm going to hold down Command and Shift, tap three because it's the last one. See, I'm kind of helping you guys out here. Tap three. Boom, I take a picture. There it is, right? Let's say I want to take a picture of a portion of my screen. I'm going to hold down Command, hold down Shift, tap four. As you see, my cursor has now changed into like a little camera. I can drag, let go, and now I just took a picture of a certain part of my screen. There's a whole screen. There's a certain part of my screen. I can delete these by hitting Command and, uh, D, and D, or I can undo that and check this out. Let's say I have one selected. So let's go make a bunch of folders here, right? So I got a bunch of stuff selected, and I've got one selected. I can select them by dragging, right? Or, let me go ahead and add one more. It's pretty simple. Or, what I can do, I can select one and then hit Shift and use the arrow keys and move down. As you see, it's selecting more and more and more. So now I have to drag. I just hit Shift and went down, and then it worked. Hit Command Delete, and boom, it works. Hit Command Delete on that one, and it works there as well. So Shift and the arrow keys, you can select multiple things. And now to empty the trash, hit Shift Command and Delete. Boom, there it is. Delete the trash right now. Didn't even have to click it. Just Shift Command Delete, clicking it right now. Remember, guys, I'll put all these in the description box to the right side, so don't worry. I'm going to try to finish up this video with one last tip, and it's an iMovie. This is a pretty, pretty cool tip, and I'm going to show you right now. Now, basically what I want to do, I want to time my photos right to the beat. So when the beat drops, I want the photo to change. So dun, 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 dun. And when I snap my fingers, that's basically when I want the photo to change, right? So let me go pull up a song here. And you're going to start hitting the M key. As in Madre, Mom, Mamma Mia, you're going to hit that key. So as you drag your song in first, drag that in first. Then hit the little gear button, hit clip trimmer. Alright, I'm going to come down here and play my song. And when I want the song, the photo to change, I want to hit the M key. Don't add any photos yet, just do this. So hit spacebar to play, and then hit tap the M key, and that's when the photo will change. Let me go ahead and show you. M. 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 So, boom, I added a bunch of beat markers. That's what they're called, beat markers. And the little white lines that appear. That's when you say you want the photo to change in the song. Alright? So, I'm going to demonstrate. Hit done. Go ahead and add your photos. You want about as many photos as as many beat markers you added. So I guess I added that much. I don't know. We'll see. About 20. Maybe a little bit less than that. But go ahead and add that many. So let iMovie go ahead and add the still frames. Now, you don't want to apply a certain amount of time to each one. Okay? So here's what I mean. Let me get the add those in. So these are added in. I'm going to hit the little gear button on one of the photos. Hit clip adjustments. As you see, I don't want to hit applies to all stills because that means that every picture will have be the same length. I don't want that to happen. I just want to hit I don't want to hit anything. All right? So don't check applies to all stills. Hit done. If I play it back, check how the pictures move with the beat. Just check it out. Here it is. Alright, so as you see, 
It's moving with the beat. Check this out. Right when the beat drops, the picture's gonna appear. Check it out. Boom. See that? Listen again. Put up the volume here. All right. So cancel. Here it is. moving around and timing with the beat with the pictures guys I hope this tip actually helps you guys because it'll really really boost your um, boost the quality of your videos if it shows that everything's in sync uh, now you can also create your own shortcuts by going to system preferences under the hardware section you're gonna go to keyboard and mouse then you're gonna go here and see every command that's already generically on your keyboard uh, here by hitting keyboard shortcuts you'll see all that you can add your own by hitting the plus button all right, you can hit, uh, you can choose what application you want to add a command for. So, for Firefox, want to add a command, then you type in what you want to add, type in the um, command, and boom, you're done, guys. Simple as one, two, three. Uh, so that's been Scooter Macintosh tips. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. It's kind of a long one, but it, it really is help helpful, guys. Really, really, really helpful. All right, guys, this is, I'm out. Peace.